Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video, because today it's this month in Dragalia Lost. I'm going to be reading through it, um, go over some of the stuff in there, give some thoughts and opinions about it. So yeah, that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It helps out the whole channel a bunch. I've, you, I've been very appreciative, because a lot of people have been doing that, which makes me feel happy and great. It makes me want to keep on doing Dragalia stuff. And you can't, even though I would do it regardless, but <laughs> just so you know. Um, comment, tell me about how you feel and how this month of Dragalia is looking for you. I honestly think it's going to be a pretty much a slowdown month up until uh, December where it's Dragon Yule and then um, the New Year's event, but we'll never see. So yeah, let's get into it. And subscribe to me if you want more. So first things first, the latest chapter of the main campaign is here. All right, you can go there if you want to say that. Okay, don't forget about the daily free tenfold summon events. The five dragon Jakala Kronos Nyx appears. Yep, this is still going on. Regarding the Clockwork Heart Facility event and the Clockwork Heart Facility event available now, you can acquire an event exclusive facility. Yep, you can. You should do it. Uh, speaking of Halloween, limited time adventures and dragons with a Halloween theme will return in the Summon Showcase starting on 11-03-2021. Oh, that's actually nice because I want to say the, uh, Halloween is always really weird with Dragalia because um, Dragalia will always prioritize anniversary stuff. And so it ends up making it feel like Halloween is an afterthought, which really sucks if you're someone who really loves Halloween like me. Um, for example, last year, the brand new Halloween units were only up for like three days, and then they never came back. <laughs> Not for another six months. Um, it was pretty sad. It was pretty rough. But looks like this is Halloween Fantasia. This summon showcase will be available during the free 100-fold summon event, but remember, you can only perform 100 summon for free for a single day, so don't miss out. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I don't know if this... Mm. So here's the thing. As someone who has... I think I'm only... The only unit I'm missing from here is Halloween Martimus. If it's only Halloween units, that's a super, super... Obviously, there's going to be the regular banner units, but if it's mainly Halloween units and it doesn't feature the new ones, I think that's kind of a letdown, considering the last time they did one of these, it had all limited units on it. So, kind of like a... I don't know, not th disappointment is not the right word, but... It'd be kind of a bummer. <laughs> you, can't, you can't deny it that the last time they had one of these banners, it had all limited units on it, except for galley units, including the Halloween units, and in this one, it's just Halloween. But I guess it would just be better. It would be easier to get the Halloween units in this one. It, w it would feel a lot better if some of the older Halloween units, mainly Halloween Mim, had a mana spiral. And that would also I would also include last year's um, Halloween units. As much as I like them, chances are if they want to be a little bit more meta relevant, they definitely need a spiral of some kind. And Martimus is fine the way he is. He actually, I think he is actually still good. <laughs> So I'll, I, and he's the only one I'm missing, so I'll gladly take this banner and do the 300 and hope to get him. But it's very interesting that they decided to just... I, actually, let's wait and see, I guess, right? I'm assuming it's only Halloween, but let's wait until we actually see what's on the banner. What's more, this particular summon showcase will allow you to redeem an adventurer or dragon of your choice for only 200 worm sigils. So that, wow, that's actually pretty nice. Instead of the usual 300. You should just make it 200 in general. I'm just saying, it'd be way better. You should have also done this for the anniversary. <laughs> the one that had two Gala Adventures on it. Probably should have done that. Probably should have done it. Mm. Hopefully this means in the future they'll do it with more banners. This is a good thing. I'm joking, but this is obviously a very good change. Not a good change, but a very good thing to do. And I hope going forward they do this more often. Where like special banners will have only 200 Worm Sigil instead of 300. So if you do paid multi, then you're doing even less. That's crazy. The list of redeemable adventures and dragons will include those with a Halloween theme as well as some other additions. Hmm, so that's what makes me feel like it might be all limited units in that one. You can confirm which adventures and dragons are available by tapping the worm sigils button on the summon showcase page on the summon menu. 
An onslaught event will be held in mid-November. The story is set to a courtroom and a bigger braggart from the holodome will moonlight as a lawyer seeking to right some wrongs. Will justice be served or will you chaos ensue? I assume this is for... I, I cannot remember his name. I was going to say the shit brother. The one no one likes. The one, <laughs> the one from the way early on in the story and then he gets kind of relegated and I think he has like a fan base of people who are like, well, I'll use him more. And I'm one of those people going, don't, how about no? We already have a shitty brother who's got a redemption story. It's Leo and he's cool. We don't need weird pop man to return, but it's again, my opinions are my own and everyone disagrees with them. So it is what it is. We'll see how this one goes. This seems like a fun event. Like Phoenix Wright, but you're uh, The Phantom's Ransom Facility event will return in mid-November. Build an upgrade event exclusive facilities, the Opera House, to boost the stats of the adventurers who wield bows and mana casters. That is the, um... Karina event. There you go. <sighs> Legend difficulty for Lilith's and Crouching Shadow, a first for Rise of the Sinister Dominion. And a flame element quest up to level 70 for the Merkel Gauntlet will be added. Both of these additions will push your roster to its limits to prepare the best you can. I bet that this is going to suck. And statement. Harley's Trial will be added to the Trials of the Mighty in mid-November. Materials for unlocking Gala Leaf? 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 Leaf Erickson. Okay, Mana Spar will be available from the daily bonus. A time attack challenge event pitting you against flame attune of enemies will be held in late November. Your Sutter. Part 2 of Chapter 22 of the main campaign will be added in late November. I can't say too much about the story. Part 1 was just released, but I hope you are looking forward to it. To uh, testing your team's metal against the special boss. Okay. Legends difficulty for Jabaldoef, Pierce Engage, and the Rise of the Sinister Dominion will be added in early December. Additional dragons will be added to Unbound. Wait for further details. In an update in late November, Knott's Notes will provide a way to reread stories from the main campaign, facility events, raid events, onslaught events, and more. It will also include any character introduction and unique art that were part of those stories. Dragele is about to be 5,000 gigabytes big, but very cool. A lot of people wanted this. Ugh, the kick size of Dragalia is too much. Enter the Kaleidoscope is set for the December release. I'll have more information when it's available. In conclusion, thank you for reading this month in Dragalia. One Omnisite! Hell yeah. So now I have three Omnisite. So I should probably use one of them on one of the units. So that what should I do. But anyway, that's the end of this month in Dragalia Lost. Um, there's some cool stuff coming up. Uh, again, a very light month for November. November's not really the time of popping off. It's really more December. Which I think is fine, especially after anniversary, you kind of want a cool down period before you get into the crazy limiteds that are December. And obviously there's going to be a Gala Banner here at some point, and I'm sure it'll be someone related to the story that'll be super cool. But hey, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can leave a like if you did, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace out, have a good day, have a good night. And now I'm leaving. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh god, I'm still tired.